Hello dear students. In this video, we will see another fundamental of function called local parameter. Now in the previous four videos, we saw storage classes. Auto, extern, register and static. Here is one more fundamental that we must know about the functions is local parameter. Now check this program where I have declared one function. I have defined one function f1 which is void. So it will not return any value. But after the name of the function within the bracket, within these brackets, we have written a variable declaration. Hello everyone, don't go very far. Just don't make it highly technical. If on any other day you were asked what is this line int x, you would say x is a variable of type int. That's it. So here also in the bracket what has been written is a variable declaration. But in this context here it is known as parameter of the function. Just another name given nothing fancy. Parameter and many people call this as an argument. So this video is all about this parameter what it does, how it behaves, what are its properties. Okay, there is no sense in reading the function as I always say, we should first read main because execution of the program is going to commence from main. So let's see what main is doing. In the main code here, in the main, there is a variable declaration int a equal to 1. Now notice carefully, that a is an auto variable because it is declared in the scope and its value is 1. So you remember any variable declared inside the scope can be used only in that scope. It is not visible. This variable a is not visible anywhere outside the scope. But then importantly main has begun and main has declared its resource a is 1 it says main says that a is my variable and nobody can use this or even see this. Visibility is out of question, isn't it? Let's see the second line of main printf percent e backslash and a. So obviously the first output is going to be 1. So check that the first output of the program is 1, it is printing a. Now I am reading the third line of main which is called to the function f1. We are calling a void function f1, but look, when we are calling f1 within the bracket, we have written e. This call is read as follows. We are calling f1 function and we are passing value of a. Listen carefully. People often read this as we are calling f1 function and we are passing a. Wrong. We are not passing a. Please try to understand. We are passing value of A. And what's the value? Value of A is 1. Check that in the memory A is 1. And this call, this call, although we are seeing or we have typed it as F1A, this literally becomes F11. Look what we are passing. We are passing value of A. So this value 1 will literally go in the local parameter x. I hope you are understanding. F1 will start running and the value that we have passed will be copied in the local parameter x. So now F1 has begun and F1 says I will have my own variable. We call this as parameter. Correct it again. We call it as argument or parameter and this parameter will be 1. That's value of a. Many authors therefore call this parameter as value parameter also. Value parameter. Why? Because this parameter simply gets the value that you have passed. Or many authors call this as copy parameter also. Why? Because this parameter x has simply copied the value of a which we had passed. Now observe one very careful thing. Very important thing. As soon as we call the function, value of a has to be copied somewhere because we are passing the value. That value is copied in a new variable x. So this way, this x is the parameter which has taken birth 
which has been stored in the memory only when this function began see before the function starts there is no reason that x must be in the memory x was not there in the memory x was stored in the memory because the function was called remember this now let's let's read the function next line is x plus plus so the value of x check the right corner becomes 2 isn't it so now here starts the confusion i hope you are not confused what beginners often think is that value of x has changed correct and who was x what, what did x receive value of a and if we are changing the value of x if x has changed from 1 to 2 then it seems that in main a should also change to 2 no is the answer there won't be any change made to the variable a notice variable a is local to main and it is not even visible to f1 function okay and what did we pass we didn't pass a we passed value of a and that value of a was literally copied in a new variable now whatever happens to this new variable or parameter has nothing to do with the original variable I hope you are understanding. Now print f runs the last line of the function and it is printing the value of x and x is at the moment 2. So at the output, check the bottom right of the screen, 2 is the next output. 1 was already printed by main and now 2 is printed by f1 function. Now comes the fun part. Now you see the function is ending. Check this close brace. The function is getting terminated and you all know whenever function is terminated whatever took birth for the function or in the scope whatever was declared is literally deleted so the parameter x which was declared for the f1 function but f1 itself is getting terminated now then whatever resources f1 is holding will also get deleted so there is nothing called x now there is no value called 2 now and we literally come back to main. So when we come back to main, obviously the next line will run, which I am underlining here after the call to F1, which is printf. And we are trying to print A. Obviously, you know, we can't use X here. Please don't keep thinking, what if we print X here? Come on, X was deleted and X was only local to that scope. So when we come back to main, in our hands, we have only left out with A. And we are now trying to print A. No confusion. What's the value of A? Check the window of main. Main says I have A as 1 and I will output 1. And then obviously after that the program ends. What have you proved from this? Very important property that you have proved is when you pass value to a function, that value is received by local parameter or value parameter or copy parameter and then within the function whatever play you do with that parameter you increase it decrease it multiply it divide it whatever whatever you do those changes will not be transferred to the original variable that you passed i hope you have understood enough this was so important isn't it this discussion of local parameter was so important. It's like, you know, you are passing a copy of the value. You are not passing all permissions that hello function, this is my variable A, you take it, whatever changes you will do will be transferred in the original A. That doesn't happen. So, as another example here on the fresh slide, have a look at this code. This is very, very similar, rather entirely similar to the previous code. Let's try to run this code on paper and see what will be the output. Obviously, main starts first. Main has a variable int a equal to 1. Note, it is local variable. Only main has permission on a. No one can handle a. Okay, so a is 1. So main is started and main is having a equal to 1. Next line, print the value of a. Obviously, the first output will be 1. Value of A. Call to the function. See the next line. F1 is getting called by passing A. Wrong. I did a wrong statement. 
एफ वन इज कॉल्ड बाय पासिंग वैल्यू ऑफ ए हेलो वी कांट पास ए वी डोंट हैव परमिशन बिकॉज ए कैन बी यूज ओनली इन मेन हाउ कैन वी पास ए टू समबडी एल्स वी कैन ओनली पास द वैल्यू ऑफ ए सो दिस कॉल लिटरली बिकम्स एफ वन वन बिकॉज वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज वन दिस वन इज कॉपीड इन द पैरामीटर ओप्स बट लुक एट दैट नाउ एफ वन हैज बिगन एंड एफ वन सेज आई हैव अ पैरामीटर ए with value 1 whose value is this one the original variable a i hope you are not getting confused how can there be a again when we already have a, a in main we have learned it in past that there can be variables with same name in a program if they belong to different scopes and literally this a which i am underlining for f1 function is different from this a which i am underlining in main except that the value of this a has been copied in this new variable a now when we do a plus plus obviously f1 will say i have my own a i will increase it to 2 and then it will print that a isn't it see this next line print a so the next output on the screen will be 2 and now the function is getting terminated what happens when the function is terminated all the resources that the function had are literally deleted and we come back to main when we come back to main main says and now i will enjoy using my own variable a isn't it so this next line print f a is going to print 1 because a was kept intact as 1 okay now in textbook sense many authors call this as call by value concept call by value actually this is function call we are calling a function by passing a value and what happens under those conditions is that the original value that you have passed does not change it remains intact whatever play you do with the passed value that is parameter is changed original value will not change now let's get back to code blocks and as usual i have kept myself ready with some example this is the same program that we were learning on the slide there is in text parameter x is increased and x is printed let's see main is having a equal to 1 a is printed so one is printed now comes the call to the function but in the function x is increased isn't it so function is going to print 2 but when we come back to main main is still going to print 1 as the value of a let's confirm it by build and run actually i get tremors whenever i build and run because it takes lot of time to run this code let it keep running what was the inference is that when we pass when we call the function like this f1a we know that we are passing the value of a so can the local parameter have the same name int a yes of course it doesn't matter this parameter a will only receive the value that was passed so any changes made in this parameter a are not going to get transferred to the original value okay here we go 1 to 1 was the output isn't it that we traced let me go back to code blocks again and what if what if i name this parameter as a look we are passing the value of a and we have named this parameter as a so a plus plus and i am printing it still there won't be any change what difference it makes so the output will be 1 to 1 again by the way after learning all this you know almost we are ready to solve some look the output is 1 to 1 the same output we are almost ready to solve some gate questions which were asked on storage class and local parameters and then one more concept about function which is so important is remaining is recursive function which we will see after solving some gate questions thank you very much